What's up everyone? I know it's been like two weeks or something since I did a video and that sucks because I want to do more videos but the reason why I haven't been doing any is because I've just been focusing way too much on my rehab and getting my arms strong again and uh, today I uh, went to the hospital for my last checkup and my last x-ray and uh, I actually got the word that I can start riding now which is like it's a bit of an emotional for me actually because I've been off the bike for such a long time and I'm used to being on a bike every single day so yeah I just got back from the hospital and uh, now I'm gonna take this thing which is my bike and I'm gonna go and ride it for the first time they kind of told me that I have to ease into it a little bit I can't just start with going big on big jumps or anything so first we're gonna do some racetrack and then uh, maybe in a couple of days I can start jumping a little bit so yeah I'm gonna go pick up my friend Simon and uh, I'm gonna go to the racetrack. You know it's been a while since you rode if you have to run back and forth to the garage all the time and like oh shit I forgot that I forgot that oh man Come back in the videos, both on the bike and in yeah. the videos. Simon hasn't touched his bike since we were in Javla before I went to New Zealand, so that's like four months, three months ago, probably something like that. But, uh, yeah, it's gonna be interesting for both Simon and for me. So yeah, it's gonna be pretty interesting to ride today. Yesterday or the day before that or something, I was out just doing some wheelies and stuff on the bike and. That was very interesting, I'd say. <laughs> I feel like I lost all of my balance I've ever had on my bike, but I guess that's natural. I've been away for 14 weeks now. And I, I gotta admit that I'm actually pretty nervous to ride today, actually. Because if my arm doesn't hold up as good as I want it to hold up, I'm gonna be pretty angry and depressed. <laughs> but it should be all good. I've done my rehab and everything, and uh, yeah. Let's get to it. While I was injured, Monster and TSG painted these helmets for me. And uh, I got to choose whatever I wanted, however I wanted, wanted it to be. So I put my star sign here, which is a lion, <laughs> with my name over it. That's their job, they put my name over my star sign. And then uh, I was kind of going for blacked out camo, because I have a backpack that looks like this. So yeah, I got my inspiration from that. And then they just sent me a render, redid it a couple of times because I was picky about it. <laughs> but yeah, this is the outcome. The full face helmets look way, way cooler as well. I'm not saying that these aren't cool because having a special painted helmet is like that's every kid's dream ever. And it's been my dream for like 10 years to have one. And now I have one. So I'm going to be happy with it. Yeah. That was actually way better than I expected. Like, didn't have too much pain in my arm when I just cruised around and did basic pumps, but I thought that I'll try to do something a bit more exciting than just cruising around without doing anything. So I'm gonna try to do a couple of manuals and see how far I can go on this thing. Cause usually that's the first thing I'm doing when I'm getting to this track and to just manual the whole thing. So I'm gonna see now how far behind I am with my back control and strength. 
I'm not gonna show it, it's too tiny. Attempt number one. Ah. ah. That was a bit of a wake up call, I guess. <laughs> it's gonna be a bit trickier than I thought, but I'm gonna give it some time and hopefully make it work. But it's to just be able to ride around and just roll around the track, it's like, oh, I can't even describe it. I got goosebumps everywhere. It's been a long time coming and I've been working my little butt off to get back. I'm happy. Kind of nice though, because I've been going one knock up further every time I've tried, so I'm pretty confident that I can do the whole thing. And that's way more than I expected to fall on here today. I got a disc right. Fourth. Too soon. I think I forgot how hard it is to ride bikes. I've been riding this track since I was 12. I've never done that. Thanks. Thanks. I don't even know what to say. I'm like, I miss that feeling so incredibly much. It's crazy how I, like, I just have to hop on my bike again and I jump straight into the mentality that I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do this. There's n like no chance I'm not doing it because if I'm saying to myself that I'm doing that, then I'm doing that. <laughs> when I got here, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna roll over some knuckles and hopefully feel like I'm not gonna die when I'm just rolling over them. And then I was like, 10 minutes in maybe, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna manual the whole thing. <laughs> Probably not my smartest move, but. <laughs> Är det här? Ja. Har du lagt in? Ja, men First try. You suck. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I guess that's it for today. Um, I'm not supposed to ride for more than 30 minutes to an hour down the beginning, so yeah, baby steps. I'm actually super, super stoked on today. My expectations were very low for today. I thought I would be maybe able to just roll around a little bit and maybe do a manual between some knuckles here and there, but manual the whole thing was above my expectations, so I'm pretty stoked on that. So a bit of info about my arm. Doctor says that it's basically whole right now. It wouldn't be good if I crashed on it. X-rays are looking good, and uh, as I said earlier in the video, I have to ease into things and not start jumping directly. Just build up muscles around the fracture and uh, get everything dialed in before I can start pushing it again. It was a crazy good day. To just be on my bike again was an unreal feeling, so I'm super happy. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna wrap this video up now. I know that the YouTube rules are that you're supposed to ask people to subscribe to your channel in the beginning of the video, but yeah, I don't know. I just feel like that's a bit weird. Because what I think is that if you create a good video and good content, people will subscribe to your channel anyway, so why do you have to ask them all the time? Does that make sense? I'm not sure, but anyway, thanks to like mom and dad and everyone who still watches my videos. Uh, 
I love making these videos, so I'm gonna keep doing a couple. Uh, I wanna do them more. I wanna try to do it twice a week, so that's what I'm gonna aim for now when I'm able to ride my bike a little bit more. So yeah, thank you guys for watching again, and uh, leave a comment with what you wanna see in the future, and see you in the next video. Peace out.